Hey guys, I'm the fan guy and in this video I'm going to talk about what kind of scenarios might allow Goku to re-enter the tournament and face the strongest fighter of Universe 6, Hit. As we all know, Goku started the tournament as the first fighter of Universe 7. He very easily defeated Botamo and was dominating against Frost in his second match. But in an astonishing turn of events, Goku suddenly became unconscious and lost the match against Frost. At that stage, they all thought Frost stunned Goku by his superior fighting style. However, later on when Frost knocked out Piccolo in the same manner, it was detected that Frost actually adopted illegal means to defeat both Goku and Piccolo. So after investigation, the referee was about to disqualify him while Champa was waiting to absolutely destroy him because of what he did. But Vegeta stepped in and said, they won't have to disqualify or kill him. He will fight him in the match and take him down. So he in a way forced Piccolo to forfeit the match. From reliable sources it has been revealed that Vegeta will indeed defeat Frost and will move on to face Mageta and Kabe respectively and thus it is confirmed that Piccolo is indeed eliminated. That is, by facing Frost, he clearly made Frost fight against Piccolo legal by accepting the illegal move on behalf of Universe 7. However, though, you, though Vegeta made Piccolo forfeit, it isn't clear as to what might happen with Goku. That is, Frost also defeated Goku illegally, so Goku technically deserves another chance. So since Goku wasn't made to forfeit, this could be a way Goku might actually re-enter the tournament. However, it can go either way, it depends on how deep Akira Toriyama thought this out and they might actually consider Goku defeated alongside Piccolo. Because Vegeta, by fighting Frost, made all his previous moves legal. To see how they will approach it, we will have to wait for the upcoming episodes or the manga. Then another thing that we almost forgot is the fifth vacant spot. As we know, Bu failed the test and Universe 7 had to start the tournament with one less fighter. Fans made assumptions like that fifth spot might give Goku another chance or Gohan could take this opportunity to enter the tournament. Gohan entering the tournament looks very unlikely at this moment, so this could be another way Goku might re-enter the tournament and face hit. If Goku re-enters the tournament, it's almost certain that he will face hit. In fact, Goku re-entering the tournament has become a matter of thought mainly because Toei had been advertising Goku and Hit in Japan for a while and since Hit is the strongest of Universe 6, we all just thought he would fight against Goku. In the next episode we will see Hit getting some action as we saw in episode 35 trailer that Hit steps in and Frost looks absolutely terrified. However, Hit will officially fight in the tournament at episode 38. I would also like to mention the advertisement featuring Goku and Hit doesn't necessarily indicate a Goku vs Hit match at the tournament. They might have just put Hit besides Goku because he is like the main character of Universe 6 or Hit might actually fight alongside Universe 7 against some sort of threat or Goku could even face Hit sometimes later in the tournament. However, to find out what will happen exactly, we have to wait till they confirm it either on the series or the manga. But there will certainly be some arguments and confusion regarding this as in the episode 35 thriller we saw Beerus and Champa arguing in the rage mod. So things are getting quite interesting, let's wait and see what happens. That's all for now, don't forget to bless the comment section with your opinion and if you want daily Dragon Ball updates obviously don't forget to subscribe to my amazing channel.